Bitcoin Brandon here with some news out of MIT. MIT study shows exclusivity encourages greater Bitcoin adoption. MIT launched a study in 2014 that showed early adopters help to spread new technology throughout society if they feel they have exclusive access to it. The study's official research paper was released on Friday, which was published in Science. The experimenters used Bitcoin as the new technology in the study. The study, $100 worth of Bitcoin. Researchers offered participants $100 worth of Bitcoin. Bitcoin's price was around $400 at the time. The students would set up a digital wallet and then wait for researchers to allot funds to their wallets. The researchers Christian Catalini and Catherine Tucker saw this experiment as a one-time opportunity to study the role of early adopters in spreading technology in a controlled environment. The experiment's catch was that half of the early adopters would randomly receive their Bitcoin payments delayed. The MIT article elaborated, during the rollout, the researchers randomly delayed giving half the students their Bitcoin allotment by a couple of weeks. Students were identified as early adopters of Bitcoin, but whose payment was delayed, cashed out their balance and abandoned the technology at nearly twice the rate of early adopters who received their payment earlier. The early adopters who cashed out also influenced those around them to do the same in high numbers. In other words, if the early adopters felt like they were not exclusive or did not gain any consumption value from the new tech, they were likely to cash out. If they were in a public setting like the IMT dorm rooms, they would likewise influence others to cash out. This diminished the number of early adopters. The study was the first to determine what happens when new early adopters are denied first and exclusive access to new technology. Details of the study. The researchers identified who classified as a new early adopter by how fast they signed up to the study, and then they compared those newly adopters to natural late adopters. The first 25% who signed up to this study were classified as NEAs, and the study explained the qualities of NEAs. Surveys showed that those NEAs were also more likely to be top computer programmers to have built mobile, mobile apps and to use peer-to-peer -peer payment apps, among other identifiers. These characteristics align with popular definitions of early adopters who generally possess advanced technical skills that help them start using new technologies. Even though these NEAs were highly computer literate and understood the technology underlying Bitcoin, social and psychological reasons caused them to cash out and stop using the technology. It seems randomly delaying payment caused internal frustration and made early adopters feel less than exclusive. One would expect people with high te technological literacy to stay involved no matter what. Now here's results from a parallel universes. Randomly delaying the Bitcoin payments resulted in two parallel universes, researchers said. They did this to determine the S-curve or the measure of the speed of adoption of innovation in societies. Catalini explained, in one universe, we ended up seeing seeding Bitcoin in the optimal way by giving it first to early adopters and later to everybody else. In the other parallel universe, the opposite was likely to happen. The researchers found the two-week cash-out rate on those NEAs who received their Bitcoins late rose 18%, which was well over non-delayed NEA cash-out of 11%. The researchers said these alleged early adopters cashing out just because their payment was delayed was surprising. Conclusion, how to market new technology. The results of the study offer a couple of key insights for new tech startups, said the researchers. The most important is for technology firms to take advantage of people's desire for exclusivity while using the new technology. NEAs are likely to influence others to adopt it if they feel unique. This is the key to diffusing new tech throughout society, the researchers explained. In settings where the decision to adopt is a social decision, where comparisons or conversations are taking place in communities, and when there is uncertainty about the value of an innovation, it can be important for firms to take advantage of early adopters as they do create this positive effect of others. But that comes with a cost, which is exclusivity. The student participants who held onto their $100 worth of Bitcoin would presently be holding $700, noted the MIT article. Very interesting. Early adopters. Bitcoin Brandon out.